I can see why a completely disaffected young man would regard Andrew Tate as a role model. When the fruit of that is nothing but a higher order despair, it's a dreadful vision. And, and someone like Andrew Tate is good at this, by the way. And this is why he's such a popular character. He says to disaffected, nihilistic and depressed young men, you know, why don't you turn yourself into a monster there, buddy, and take what's the world's offering you, you know, without guilt. You know, he's, there's, the, there's a kind of Nietzschean Superman idea lurking behind that. And, you know, you have to give the devil his due. As I said, I think that's more, that's a more... It's a step on the way to emerging from that depressive, nihilistic state of infantile dependence. Now, you had the opportunity to, uh, let's say, revel in the uh, in 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 the abundance that life might offer you on the hedonic front, and so and so. Why not do that? Because you're in a great position to, to, to describe that. This is the world that Andrew Tate is offering to young men. Let's say, just to take a current example. And 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 maybe why not glory in that and luxuriate in it? What's the consequence? Why isn't that the right solution? That's not a fruitful pursuit, even when it's successful. You know, it beckons very powerfully when it's not successful because it's the, well, what would you say? It's the hidden treasure of the forbidden and unattainable and fairly so, you know. I mean, I can see why a completely disaffected young man would regard Andrew Tate as a role model. But but when the fruit of that new mode of being, which is essentially a form of domination oriented towards hedonic self-gratification, when the fruit of that is nothing but a higher order despair, it's a dreadful vision. And so, and the alternative to that is, well, it, it, perversely enough, the alternative to, and it's not that surprising, what would the alternative to, to a pointless hedonic self-gratification be other than a hierarchy of responsibility. I mean, obviously that's the alternative. And then you think, well, is that just the the Rousseauian type would say all of that social responsibility is nothing but bur the burdensome excess that interferes with the free flowing manifestation of my self actualizing spirit, as if everything that was of value was only located internally. That's the opposite mistake. It's like no, you you experience the abundance of existence in harmonious relationship with the totality of that hierarchy. 